Hello and welcome back um, here at Ninja Manor. I'm, I'm going to do a few things this session. First of all, I'm going to I'm going to let The Sims live for a little while. We're going to get a little, little bit of drama, and then I'm going to uh, move on to uh, rebuilding um, building up this garden and everything. Uh, I've had a few people commenting on stuff. Someone mentioned that I've left very little room for my graveyard, which is true. I'll probably extend it out here. Like I'll take a chunk off this uh, corner here. I also wanted to extend the kitchen this way, put in more bedrooms. It's going to be a gradual thing, though. Look, I'm running out of money. I'm down to 54 grand. Well, that's not quite running out just yet, but um, it's getting there. I, I can see trouble in the future. So let's just get back to living anyway and see what everyone's up to. Connor the Third, he's who I want to keep an eye on because... Um, oh, there he is. Yeah, because... Um, oh, he's working out now. Did I tell him to work out? I did, didn't I? Because uh, he's got his requirements for work. Mixology and cooking. What's his mixology skill at? Because he's going to need to max that out. I might as well do it now. Um, eight. Oh. Okay, look. Dude. Um, oh, wait. I'll, I'll, I'll let him get this athletics point, and then I'll get him to work on that. There we go. Look at that. Level two of the fitness skill. And he's going to be so bulky and muscular now. Uh, can I change his outfit? I'll change to his swimwear and we'll see how bulky and muscular he is. Go on, go for it. Yeah, I know you stink, but, uh, oh. Okay, no, his arms are a little muscular, but, uh, he's got a bit of a belly on him. Oh, no, he's got his dad's genetics. This, um, uh, uh, he hasn't got it too bad. Like, he's not fat or anything, but I worry that it'll expand as he gets older, because that's what happens to this family. A fervent wish. A, little sick, a sick little girl's most fervent wish is to meet Connor the Second. Oh, dear God, this is going to go awkward. Her favourite author. And to find out what Connor the Second's got planned for his next book. Should Connor the Second share his secrets or stay tight-lipped? I don't know. I imagine his books are like really racy, erotic fiction. So, um... No, tell her. Go on. The child is thrilled. She lights up when she hears Connor the Second's stories in a way she hasn't for weeks. Her parents are extremely grateful for his kindness. But not grateful enough to give me any kind of reward, I see. God. Oh, he doesn't need to pee. Why am I telling him to pee? Uh, shower. That's what you need to do. Take a shower. Look at him complaining about having to shower. You're, you're, you're not a little kid. You're going to have to shower every day to keep clean. Oh, I saw someone in his bed and was like, oh, if that's Coconutella. But no, it's Abby. Or it's not Abby. Abby would... That would be weird if it was Abby as well. It's Olive. Um, oh, Connor the Fourth. I forgot Connor the Fourth exists. <laughs> there she is. Maybe we should work on getting a new baby. Um, yeah. Why not? Connor the Fourth needs a um a little brother or sister. So why don't we have them go up here and let's go try for another baby. That. That'll be a good way to pass the time. And, um... Oh, Abby, what are you doing? Oh, no, Connor the Fourth's upset. The beast has awoken. Uh, Abby, you've arrived just in time. Uh, you've got to look after your grandson. Grandson? Look at Abby. Does she look like someone's grandmother? That's crazy. She's, she doesn't. She looks very good for her age. Um, you're going to have to shush him and cuddle him and bounce him. I, you see, I don't know what's wrong with him, so I'm just going for the whole array of things that make babies shut up. Uh, okay, cue fall. Did I hear someone fart there? The Sims fart? Oh, look, Sophie was coming in. Or, not Sophie. Sharon was coming in to try and, uh, try and look after the kid herself. But nope. Oh, it was those fire things. They make a farty noise. Oh, okay. Those statues are actually not of faces. Those are of um, arses of the bizarre uh, Mexican chupacabra. I know it's a Hawaiian desk thing, but the statues are Mexican. And that's what the bum of the chupacabra looks like. And it farts out flames. Um, Connor the Third is asleep. Okay. Olive is taking a swim. Should pregnant women be swimming? I don't know. I, I, are they supposed to? No, they probably are. I've just got something in my head that pregnant women aren't meant to swim, and I don't know where that thought came from. 
uh, it's just there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put some cables out here, sort of expand the bar to be a kind of poolside thing, because someone was expect, was uh, sorry, not expecting, uh, requesting that in the comments. So, yeah, I'll oblige that. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Oh, Abby's off to bed now. Uh, Coconutella, what are you... Oh, no, we've got another one. We have another one. For feck's sake, Coconutella, for feck's sake. That's not your bedroom. This is your bedroom. Oh my god, no. Not again. The cycle has started over. It's just the coconut's genes. I don't know what's going on. Why, Coconutella? Why? Why? Where, where are you going, Sharon? Okay, no. I thought Sharon might be going to sleep in the wrong bed as well. She's not. She's got much more innocent reasons. Oh, look at this office. Hang on. I know I said I'm not going to do the building just yet, but this is going to annoy me. So. Uh, what's that like? The walls up. Yeah! Okay, that's that's a little better. Um, Back to lid mode. I just had to round off that room. It was just looking weird and annoying me. Um, there's Coconutella returning to her shack. Very sad. Uh, Connor the Third, what are you doing? He's still still sleeping? Yeah, he's still sleeping. Oh, look, Olive's coming in to join him for a nap. Olive, get under the covers. Come on, it's not that warm. You, you, you should just snuggle in. And, uh, oh, 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 what is... Oh, Sharon's going for a bit of a jog. Oh, she's getting a drink. Okay, she's drinking on the job. Um, that's a little bit unprofessional, but whatever. Connor the second here just whiling away his retirement playing chess well I say retirement he's still actually working but um he doesn't have to put any effort in anymore because he's nearly dead so it doesn't count for anything that's the life isn't it <laughs> oh we just need to get today's royalties in and he's completed another aspiration and maybe we can get him to complete another one who knows he's only got like two days left but we'll see we can try to rush for one like, um, get him to become the world's greatest gardener or something overnight. I think I could manage it. If anyone could do it, you know, it's me. Well, no, that's, that sounded a bit arrogant. If anyone could do it, it's Connor the Second. I mean, I, I couldn't do it. I'm dead. Connor the First is dead and buried over there, I think. Wait, where, where are the names? There's no names showing up on these. What? Just blank line, rest in peace, blank line, blank line... What's wrong with the graves? Oh no! Does that mean the ghosts are gone too? What? What? Uh, what about these ones? Are these okay? Coconuts goth. Anastasia is. Oh, of course, Anastasia and coconuts are still here because they're really important. Oh, that's really, really crap. That is ridiculous. Look, they, it just erased the identity of the dead people. That is not cool. No, I'm really annoyed now. Um, okay, I'll press on. I guess it means we'll have less ghosts clogging up the house. Maybe that's what it's for, but... Oh, I'm shaking my fist in disapproval right now. Um, let's see. What are we going to do next? Connor the Third should. Oh yeah, he's well rested now. I'm gonna get him up, but I'm gonna get him bartending again because he needs to do that. And I'm like not just for his job. If he if he ever stops bartending, he'll die. He has a rare condition. Oh, the fridge is broken. Um. Okay, I'll get him to have a quick meal just to fill himself up. Go and have some quick chips, I guess. Oh no, Connor the Fourth is upset. Uh, Sharon is. Oh, Sharon's taking care of it. Amazing. Okay, good work, Sharon. I actually like you. Oh, Connor the second beat you to it. Okay, Sharon, no, not bedtime again yet, because um, we have a broken fridge right here we need repaired, and Coconutella's not old enough yet, and a cooker that needs cleaning. And Connor the second has completely failed at his baby-raising duties. Um, look, she needs to be changed, not whatever the hell you did. There you go. 
I just hope he doesn't start punching her like he does with that dragon. God, he's he's a violent man. I don't really trust him. But um he's earned that right through hard work and a long life or something. Um Okay. What we need here is a thoughtful shower. Uh, when have you got work next? Three more days. God, it's really annoying having such a long break before work. Let me get a look at these ghost friends. Maybe, uh, is Connor the first still a ghost friend? Duncan, Don, Dallas, Liberty. All of these ghosts are still around. But no, Connor the first is gone. Forever. Maybe it's something to do with the ghost patch coming out, but no, no, that patch was out before he died. Um, it's just because Maxes are crap. Well, these days, they used to be good. There was a time long ago. Look at this, tend some bar. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to practice bar tricks. Look at all this. Look at that for mixology. Look, Anastasia's still floating about the house. Nobody wants you, Anastasia. Why couldn't it have been you who disappeared? Look, she's just taking up the computer as well. Ah! Oh. Don't you hate that when you want to sit down and play The Sims, but, like, the ghost of your dead neighbour is on your computer and won't go away? Is there food in here? Oh, great, and it's not even spoiled yet. Okay. Oh, he's got food. Um, Sharon... Throw away that crap. Oh! Oh no, Connor the Fourth is awake. Um, I think she might need to be fed. Come on. No, 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 Sharon. No. We're, oh, right, she's not going for the baby. That's fine. Ah, look at this. Look at that. What a happy baby. Um, there. They're having a great time in there, just hanging out in the bar with a baby. Perfect. Um, oh my god, look at that. Did you see him balance those bottles? Can people actually do that? That was really cool. Well, I guess people can do anything, really. Um, there's someone out there who can do it. Well, except, you know, time travel or fly through the power of imagination. But, um, you know, re real, real life things dependent on real life factors. What's he trying to do? Chat with Olive. He's... Oh, yeah. Tending bar, practicing his tricks. No chatting. No chatting. I don't care if she's your pregnant wife. She shouldn't be at a bar anyway. Oh, she's just eating a burger. She's not actually drinking anything. No! Stop talking. You need to practice. Olive, um, maybe you should take your burger somewhere else. You're being a distraction in here. Why don't I get her to go and... Oh, she's going by herself. Look at that. Oh, Coconutella, no. No. No distracting. He's just not doing his tricks. He's being distracted too much. Come on, Connor the Third, get on it. Oh, no, Olive's back. Why, does it, why won't they let him practice in peace? Come on, do one trick. He, he stopped doing his tricks. He's just given up. Oh, no, there we go. But he's not inspired anymore, so what's the point? Um... I think he needs to get breakfast anyway. It's almost Connor the Second's time. Oh no. I'd love to say I'll be sad, but he's been a bit of a bastard, to be honest. So I don't really mind. Um, he has been very, very successful. I'll give him that much. Okay, now maybe this will get everyone's uh, talky talks out of the way. Sharon, there's a toilet blocked on aisle seven. Um... Oh, I need another inspiring shower here. Oh, there's another toilet blocked. Okay. Go take your thoughtful shower. And Sharon... Fix that toilet as well. Oh my god, look! Look, Connor the Second is up here abusing, um... Donald again. Oh, computer's broken as well. Sharon, you're really falling behind on your duties. I, I like that they can multitask and talk at the same time as doing something else. I don't like that that distracts them from the other thing they're doing and makes them worse at it. I guess it's realistic in that way, but it's so annoying. <laughs> okay, we've got an inspired Connor the Third. He can go down and practice his uh, drink thingy, drink mixing. There we 
go. Oh no, Connor the Fourth. What? You're you're just not impressed by this? Is that it? You're you're just you don't think the tricks are good enough? Here, give her a change, uh, Olive. Olive doesn't have a job yet. Why didn't did I get Olive a job? Um, oh right, because she's like really pregnant. But she should have one because we have uh, Sharon here to look after the baby while she's out. So let's get her a job. What's her aspiration? Oh right, it's soulmate. So she doesn't have any particular choice. Why don't we get her to become a an astronaut? A tough gal. Um, I don't know what kind of person she is. Um, astronaut, why not? Olive is now an intern at Spacey. She starts at uh, Thursday at 8am. I wonder is that like run by Kevin Spacey? Does he have a space program? That would be really cool. He should he should start one if he hasn't. Because I'd say he's rich enough, you know? He's got a lot of money. He does a lot of films. The Kevin Spacey Agency. But actors will sign up thinking that it's an acting agency, but it's actually a space agency. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Aspiration number three complete. Oh, scrimping saving as good life choices have all led to this. Connor II has achieved his dream of becoming fabulously wealthy. Trait earned shrewd. Household funds accrue interest on a weekly basis. Oh, but our funds are re are a bit low now because well they're not low at sixty eight grand, but they're lower than they were. Why don't I select my new aspiration now? Um, mansion Baron. Okay, we can give him this. Own the biggest fanciest home. Maybe he can get this. Um, go for it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. What level is he at now? He's one out of four. Okay, we need five grand worth of landscaping. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to be going into build mode in a little while, so maybe we'll get something there. Look at all this, all these rewards. Um, Let's get a look at what he can buy. He's going to die, so he doesn't really need many of these, but I can blow all this money on something cool. Uh, super green thumb, savant, never weary, he has that. Great kisser, fertile, connections... What I should do, actually, is buy a load of these potions, like uh, Instaline. I think we need some of that. We'll get him one of those. Why don't we get Sleep Replacement? Oh, yeah. That's a handy one to have. I'm just going to buy a load of Sleep Replacement. And then no one will need to sleep again. It'll be amazing. This will be the house where everyone is just awake and out of their minds on drugs. Because, you know, Connor the Second used his um, success to get a load of them for free um, yeah can I afford one I can get one more there we go that's pretty much living the dream are they in his inventory or where are they there they are yeah I'm gonna put them into uh, Connor the thirds oh my god Connor the fourth what's wrong um, there's too many Connors here this gets confusing sometimes yeah I what am I doing? Um, Instaline. Yeah, that was for Connor the Third as well because I want to get rid of that little belly of his. Um, let's go down and bounce and rock and make silly faces and generally just entertain this little munchkin. Oh, brilliant. Level 9 of mixology. You're nearly there. I think we're going to have a master mixologist here. Um, what's going on? Olive is fast asleep, but she's hungry. This is no time for a nap, Olive. If you're hungry, you eat. If you're tired, you sleep. That's how things work in this house. And every house, I guess. I don't know. It, it, it was how things worked in my other Sims house as well. It's how I do things. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Le leave the bartender alone. He's practicing. I don't think they're leaving him alone. I mean, I... I've told him to stop talking, but he he's still dilly dallying. Okay, okay, that's enough. His inspiration's gone. Um, I think it's time for bed. That was good though. That was some good bartending work. Oh, actually, before you go to bed, why don't you uh, have a drink of this? Just fight off those genetics. Oh my god, look at that drink. Did it like whoosh like a stargate? That was amazing. Oh, oh, look at that. That's good. His, um, his 
beginnings of a belly have uh, have gone. We just have to make sure he eats right now for the next while. Um, 